speed battery in and ride it without regen <laughs> okay yeah I'm, I'm I'm a little I'm disappointed in the NXC display right now man uh, I, I, but I'm not gonna lie this is this is the same feeling I felt when uh, this is the same feeling I felt when I was tuning that egg rider setup you know um, I did not like riding without regen you know and uh, all right, so here I got the light speed battery here. So let's go swap it out. So what we got to do, turn the bike off, get this USB cable out of here. Okay, I'm gonna flip this lid here. I'm gonna disable, turn the power off here. So that was a little taste of a, uh, it wasn't very fast. <laughs> I kind of seem to remember it was faster than that with the egg rider setup, man. So what I did was I, I made the, uh, I made the eco mode and the sport mode the same, you know? Okay. So I fully charged that battery pack yesterday. So this is the full power, man. Get ready. <laughs> Get ready. Okay, so. We're gonna have to get this in here. So this back is a little harder to put in than the so on one. It, it fits in there like perfectly. Okay. And we're gonna make sure the wires are the same color. Red to red, black to black. Okay, make sure nothing gets caught in the door. And then we're gonna flip the breaker. And we're gonna Handle back like this. Move this forward. Close this. Press firmly on the cover. Then we're gonna uh, we're gonna give it power by closing the breaker there, and it should power up. Okay. Okay. Swapped over to the light speed battery pack. So now before we do anything, we got to go to battery select and select. Light speed battery. Save. Then when we switch back, we're gonna have to thing, you know. Start. Okay, now it puts us back in this mode. So let's just double check that our power tuning. Huh. It's different. This one is a lot more power. It's just thirteen five hundred for power. If you remember correctly, the power uh, was uh, seven thousand for the for the uh, for the 60 volt battery so this is this is a different profile okay um, let's go to let's see if we got regen man let's check that regen out I don't know I don't, it doesn't really help but I'm just gonna okay increase the regen It's in sport mode. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm the, um, if it go if it does that that stuff that it was doing before with the eco mode, then we'll go. Uh, I'll go edit those settings again. And it was seven thousand and twenty five hundred watts is what it was set at last time. All right, so now it should be thirteen thousand watts or something. Holy moly! Boy, it got some pull now, but it doesn't slow down. Damn, that was fast. 
Okay, let's go out to the... Well, let's see how... Wow, man! It just, it gets up to speed really fast. You don't really feel it, but, but man, I was like, wow, we're at 25 already. <laughs> we're already gonna break the speed limit. Whoa, holy moly. We're at 82 volts right now, by the way. 82 volts. Pretty incredible. We're in eco mode again. Again in eco mode. See? What is the deal with you, bro? <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did before. Power tuning. We're going to take it off of eco mode. And uh, we're going to we're going to edit eco mode to whoa, it's just 1600 watts is the limit. But it says 13 13500 is Let's put it on 13,500. I don't know what... Uh, 13,500. 13,500 watts. Okay, save. So they're the same now, okay? So the sport mode and the eco mode are the same amount of power in the power tuning. Okay, so it, just, it keeps on going in the eco mode, so what, what do you want me to do, man? <laughs> but man, it's fast, dude. Holy shit. Whoa, dude! It's got like a pickup now, you know? It like, generally, you know, before it just kind of keeps, it, it kind of just keeps it going and it accelerates slowly, you know? There's not really a pickup, but it, it just keeps on accelerating. This just, oh, oh, man. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. This is fast. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get it up to 40. This is gonna be terrifying to ride without regen, I'll tell you that. All right, that's well, wide open right there. Don't make me stop, don't make me stop, don't make me stop. <laughs> okay. 40, 45, holy shit! <laughs> I can't get enough, uh, I can't get enough road to get it up to speed. <laughs> we, get, we just get too fast. Okay, so let's see if we can keep up with these cars, how about that? I wish I knew how much the motor temps and stuff were in this mode. So far it's running okay, uh, no hiccups. We're doing 30 miles an hour, we're keeping up with traffic. Just fine here. Holy moly! <laughs> Man, I, I know you guys can't see, you can't feel what I'm feeling right now, but I, I can only describe it as it just, it pulls, man, it pulls now. This amount of power, dude. Power overwhelming, right? All right, let's see if we can catch up to that on the Accord or something up there. Boom, wide open. Here we go. Uh... Holy shit, we just hit 50 miles an hour. <laughs> this is a downhill wide though, by the way. I think the only place we could really legally test the, the top speed on this is the freeway, man. <laughs> Holy man, it sounds different too. It sounds like kind of angry, you know? Like the power comes on so fast. Oh, we gotta stop, we gotta stop, we gotta stop. <laughs> okay, here we go. From a roll on, here we go. Wide open. 40, 40, 50, 55, 56, oh! And we just passed that accord. <laughs> All right, keep it at speed limit, man. <laughs> oh, we gotta stop! No, 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 no reach in. Dude, you're gonna overheat your brakes like so fast, man. Jesus. Okay, let's do a launch. I'll break my chain. Boom. No. All right, here we go. Whoa! 40 already. I will have to do a 0 to 60 somewhere. We're at about 90% charge right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, just a little bit of throttle, man. It gets it going. Whoa! I can, I can feel the rear suspension squatting when, <laughs> when, I, when I get on the throttle. 
<laughs> it's nuts, dude. It's nuts. I need a longer. I need a longer straight, dude. I need a longer straight. Okay, let's see if we can get it at the 45. Alright, 45, and we'll cruise at 45. No problem. Alright, 4,300 RPM. 45, cruising, no problem. Yeah, we're going 5 miles over the speed limit. But yeah. <laughs> Let's take it down Lundy. Take it down Lundy here. Alright, here we go. Forty miles. Forty-five. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Fifty. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. 52, 52, 52, okay, I'm rolling off. Okay, we're going to make a right turn here. I hit 52 on that straight right there, man. That's all she give me, man. Uh, I have to say that's a little disappointing. I would expect it to go a little faster than that. Because it's got the extra voltage, you know. It's just we're at 80 volts right now. We've still got plenty of power. But it gets there a lot faster, I'll tell you that. Holy moly, holy moly, holy moly. There it goes. Holy moly. This is a 25 zone, by the way. <laughs> Man, I will want I want to take this thing up on Sierra right now. <laughs> but it's not ready yet, man. It's not ready. So this is just a little bit of a little taste of what there is with the light speed battery pack. Dude! It like it kind of pulls you back a little bit. <laughs> but I'm a little disappointed. 52 is the highest we were able to hit. It's terrifying riding this fast without regen. If you needed to slow down right away, you know. All right, wide open. It's a 50 pretty easily, man. Oh, don't make me stop. <laughs> so, so as you saw earlier, 52 was the highest we could hit, man. I tell you this, I tell you this, with the Suron battery pack, if I got a little slight downhill, I can hit 51 miles an hour with the Suron battery pack. So, I'm a little disappointed at that top speed. I wish it was a little higher, man. <laughs> 52 is not enough to go to go on the freeway, so we can't can't take it on the freeway if it's that fast. Now you gotta at least get it to 55, you know. And it has to be able to get there pretty fast, you know. It's still a little a little laggy, you know, but not not bad. Okay, so hey, that was like just a quick neighborhood test to see uh, what what the battery can do. Battery's not even hot. I don't even feel like it, I don't even think it broke a sweat, you know. <laughs> what about the controller, though? Okay, here we go. We're on a slight uphill here. Holy moly! Oh, yeah! <laughs> it sure gets up to 50 a lot faster, though. You got a lot more acceleration. I, I want to see what this, how, how this is like with a bigger sprocket, man. But man. Yeah, it's definitely fast enough to just keep up with anything on the street, man. Okay, 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 we're heading back to base. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, that little performance, uh, little, little test, test ride there right now, just to see how fast it goes, uh, with the light speed battery. It's, it's pretty fast, man, but there's, there's some issues with the NXT controller. It keeps on throwing me into eco mode, for whatever reason. Anybody behind me? Nope. 
Yeah, it keeps on going into eco mode for whatever reason. So I, I canceled the eco mode. I don't know if that that made it fat. Yeah, it's not going back into sport mode. So I don't know why, dude. But it is it is fast, dude, man. Oh, the when you roll on after like a quarter throttle, it just it goes, man. It takes off. I can feel I can feel the back squatting. It's so much power, man. You better hold on, dude. And then like, yeah, and then slowing down is a problem now, man. I need the regen to work. So, so that's where I'm at right now. Uh, for, for whatever reason, it, it's throwing me into eco mode. For whatever reason, it's throwing me into eco mode. Uh, and so I, I kind of I kind of said, hey, screw you! If you're gonna do that, I'm just gonna make eco mode, eco mode the same as sport mode. So that's what I did. I put the numbers the same. I don't know if that that gave me the full power or not, you know, but it sure felt pretty fast. <laughs> it sure fa as you can see, it's faster than the 60 volt uh, thing. Uh, you know, one thing I might do is might we might do a um, I'd like to do a comparison between the 60 volt pack, the Sauron pack, and the light speed battery pack. I like to do it on like the same stretch of street. Um, probably, probably that one that we did the top speed on. So we'll we'll do that. We'll what we'll do is uh, we'll wait at the light. Yeah, we'll wait at the light. We'll wait for a red light to go, and then we'll get behind the red light, and then we'll punch it, and then we'll see how fast it goes to like the next stop sign or something. And then, and then I'll I'll put the two videos side by side. So I I, I might go do that sometime. Um, but it's it's just hot as shit right now too. It's probably that's probably not helping. The controller is pretty hot right now. Um, let's, let's see how hot the uh, controller is. Let me get my little thermometer. Man, it was a uh, it was crazy, dude. <laughs> But yeah, I got that. The, so the, I got two problems right now. Um, the uh, where did my uh, here here? So I got two problems right now. I got the uh, the regen is not functioning properly. It's not giving me more regen. Okay, so the the controller is 91, 95 degrees. It's pretty hot. The heatsink on the controller is about ninety degrees. Battery. Is about 90 degrees. Well, you know what? It's you know what though? It's it's 90 degrees right now outside, man. The ambient temperature is 90 degrees, so maybe that's why. You know, um, we got to do this on a cooler day. I'd imagine if we did this on a cooler day, we'd probably have more power. I think maybe it's cutting back some of the power. The motor is also 90 degrees. So Alan told me it's supposed to run cooler. It's supposed. It's not that hot. It's hot, but it's not that hot. It's hotter back here. Yeah, it's cooler in the front and hotter in the back. So I guess the, the cooling is working. It makes me wonder how that new skid plate is going to be like when I put it on here, you know? There might not be enough cooling for the motor. Um, so yeah. Uh, if everything is about 90 degrees. But the temperature right now is 90 degrees. Well, it's 82 it's got it's gotten a lot cooler since we went out. It was a, it was about 90 degrees when we started, and it's starting to cool down now. The sun's coming down, so uh, so okay. I got two problems with the bike. Uh, it's it's just like man, it's it's not very polished. The NXT display quite yet. Uh, it my the regen doesn't work properly. I cannot I cannot set up the regen how I want it. I can't set it to off throttle region where we roll off and it starts to regen right away and um, I can't increase the amount of regen so right now I feel that we have a little bit of regen just a little bit so it's it's not enough it's not enough to slow us down dude and I ha I'm having to use the brakes so I wonder how hot the brakes are getting uh, about 90 I'm trying not to stop it so hard you know Um, yeah, and that's with the stock sprocket, so maybe if we go up on the sprocket size. it. So I'm, I'm a little disappointed in the top speed. Uh, the, the, the fastest speed we were able to hit, according to the NXT display, I, I we should probably use a GPS next time. 
uh, was 52 miles per hour. Um, the top speed I was able to hit with the Egg Rider display setup with the Suron battery was 51 miles an hour. So it like it's almost the same, you know. But so so like I said, I got two problems. It keeps on throwing it into eco mode for whatever reason. So I don't know if I'm getting the full power, but it feels pretty powerful. Also, just in case you guys are wondering, uh, there's more power to be had, I think, because when power when you go to power tuning, your 13500 is the is the is the max limit with the light speed battery. However, if you go into the if you go to edit the the power setting, it looks like 16,000 watts is the uh, is the max limit in with the light speed battery pack. So, so yeah, so there's still more power to be. You, there's an extra 3,000 watts that you could pull out of this, man. Uh, I don't know why it's set up at 13,500 uh, from the get-go. So you know, but yeah, so. But it was, I, I do remember that the Sauron pack was 7,500 7, watts, I think, or 7,000 watts, and 2,500 watts was the eco mode. So the, this was set to 13,500, 13,500 watts, and, uh, and 2,500 watts for eco mode. So, And so for, for whatever reason, when I'm accelerating, it throws me into eco mode. So when, when I was in eco mode, I, I had a speed limiter set in eco mode. So, so when I hit 25 miles an hour, it's like hitting a brick wall, man. It didn't want to accelerate anymore. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? And, um, and yeah, so, uh, so I took the speed limiter off and I made both of the, uh, both of the power settings to, to maximum, to 7,000 or 13,500, whatever it was, for both eco and sport, okay? And, uh, and then, so, so that would give me, uh, so supposedly that would give me the full power. Supposedly. I don't know if it really did or not. Um, but I, I'm a little disappointed in that top speed. Um, Alan was saying that you can probably reach like 70 miles an hour with, uh, with this setup here, with the light speed battery, but I, I'm not seeing it, man. Now, now I can tell you this from the, from the ass dyno, it's, it's got a lot more power than it does, uh, with the with the with the Suron battery, man, uh, you just crack that once you crack that throttle past twenty five percent, it goes like you can feel it. Like I can feel the front lift up a little bit in the back squat. Yeah, dude, and you see the you see the speedometer. It just it just takes off. Like holy shit, we're going. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely got more power with the light speed battery pack, uh, but I it needs more tuning. Uh, like the uh, the regen needs to tune. I need. I need regen, man. If we're gonna go faster, we have to stop faster, right? Um, and uh, and it keeps on throwing it into eco mode. Those are the two big issues I'm having right now. Okay. Um, but but man, that was fun. That was <laughs> this is my first time riding it with the just rip, ripping on it with the uh, light speed battery. And oh, I liked it. Let's see. Let's see how much charge it's got. So I'm saying. I see that it's got like 90% charge left. Man, we were ripping on it, dude. I would expect it to have less than that. The the Sauron battery is at 80% already. Um, after just, you know, just a little bit of riding. So, if I go to our Shaoxiang BMS app here. It says we're at 100%. It can't be right. We were just ripping on it, man. It's at 81.27 volts. How can that be? Yeah, no. Okay, so, so here this is the uh, this is the BMS app for the for the light speed battery, and and the voltage reading is spot on, 81.27 volts. Okay, I think. I think it's fully charged at 84 volts, so we went down like three volts. So, um, I would expect it to go down a little bit, but it still says it's at 100%. That's interesting. The temp is at 27.2 Celsius. I, I have to get, I have to get these numbers down so I know, like, so I can, so I know I, I can monitor my, uh, my 
my temperatures, man. I, I don't know Celsius very well. The rest of the world uses Celsius, but America is still using Fahrenheit most of the time, you know. Um, so I don't really know. I know, I think 30 degrees Celsius is pretty warm. That's like 100 degrees or something. So I think when you get close to 100, uh, uh, 30 Celsius. What, let's see, let's see, what's 27.2 Celsius? 27 Celsius. She's playing some kind of Chinese music next door. 80.6 degrees. That's not hot at all. The the battery pack is di <laughs> it's like almost yeah it's about 80 degrees right now. The ambient temperature is 80 degrees. So that's still the ambient temperature. That battery we were just ripping on it, man. I'm telling you, I I was wide open throttle. We were going like almost 50 miles an hour, most you know, and. Uh, I was afraid something was going to break or something, but it's not hot at all. The controller is really hot, though. Let's see what the controller is at. So if you go into the day-night mode here. If you go into day-night mode here, it'll tell you the controller temp. The controller temp is 59 Celsius. The motor temp is says minus 1. I don't know why it says minus 1. That would be below freezing, right? <laughs> but 59C, that sounds like it's hot, man. Let me see. One hundred thirty-eight degrees. The controller temp. That seems like it's pretty hot. Um, but as you can see in the bar graph here, it's not it's not pegged. It's not pegged, so I guess it's not super. I have to go ask Alan what the what some good temperature limits for for the controller, you know. Um, but 59 Celsius sounds like it's hot, dude. Really hot. One thing I noticed the 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 BSC 2000 controller. I don't know. I don't have the BS. I never ridden a BSC 4000 or 8000, but the four the the 2000 overheats really fast. Um, if you're ripping on it, so if uh, maybe it's maybe because we got the BAC 2000, that's why we can't hit a top higher top speed. But it sure gets to 50 miles an hour a lot faster than it did before. For sure. So, all right. Well, uh, thanks for watching my uh, my first uh, my first uh, real test ride video of the uh, uh, light speed powered Suron Light B. Um, that was fun. So you saw the first uh, the first part we uh, the first part we uh, we used the Suron stock Suron battery. And dude, we were ripping on that battery. We were going around, and we ate up eighty percent of the charge. According to this, it says we hardly ate up anything. We're we're like we went down like three volts or something. We're probably ninety something percent. It's still up there. So so that battery can definitely take more punishment. That's for sure. So I I feel that I feel that the controller is holding me holding it back now. I think the controller is like a is the bottleneck now because it overheats. I'm gonna see if I can get a bigger heatsink for this. I'm gonna see if I can extend the heat um, bolt another heatsink to the top of this heatsink, and then and then extend it downward over here. So that hopefully that will cool it off a little better, you know. Uh, we're just, it's just, uh, it just gets so hot. Ever since I've had this BSC 2000 controller, I've always noted that it's, it runs hot. Every time I touch it, it's hot, you know. Um, when, when I had the X controller on my bike, that thing never get hot, dude, man. It's, uh, it always ran cool, you know. And that thing, that thing is heavy, dude. It's like half, it was twice as heavy as the BSC 2000. And that leads me to believe, yeah, it's got better bigger heatsink on it, you know, that's, the BAC 2000 needs a better heatsink, for sure, dude, so I gotta see if I could find a better, I gotta see if I could find one that you can bolt on, or, or one, or we'll have to make one, I'm thinking of adding one on top so, of the stock one, pretty, then, pretty amazing, so I hope, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that, um, it's definitely work in progress, but, uh, it's, it's working, <laughs> alright, here's we go.